Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss general theorems on differentiation. The first theorem states that differentiation of a constant is zero. That is, dc by ds is equal to zero where c is a constant. Let y be equal to c where c is a constant. And mark the equation y is equal to c as 1. Let delta x be a small increment in x. And corresponding to this increment in x, Let there be an increment delta y in y then y plus delta y is equal to c mark this equation as 2 now subtract equation 1 from equation 2 we get y plus delta y minus y which is equal to delta y is equal to c minus c that is 0. Now dividing both these sides by delta x we get delta y by delta x is equal to 0. Now taking limits as delta x tends to 0 we have limit delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 is equal to limit 0 as delta x tends to 0. Therefore we have limit delta y upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 can be written as dy by dx and is equal to limit 0 as delta x tends to 0 which is equal to 0. Therefore, d by dx of y that is equal to c is equal to 0. For example, d by dx of 8 which is a constant is equal to 0 and d by dx of 3 pi by 2 is also 0. That is, when we differentiate a constant with respect to x, we get 0. The second theorem states that an additive constant disappears in differentiation that is d by dx of f of x plus c is equal to d by dx of f of x where c is constant. Let y be equal to f of x plus c and mark this equation as 1. Let delta x be a small increment in x and corresponding to this increment let delta y be increment in the value of y Then y plus delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x plus c mark this equation as 2. Now subtract equation 1 from equation 2. We get y plus delta y minus y which is equal to delta y and is equal to f of x plus delta x minus of f of x 
Now dividing both the sides by delta x we get delta y by delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x whole upon delta x. Now taking the limits as delta x tends to 0 we have limit delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus of f of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 and therefore we have limit delta y upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 which can be written as dy by dx is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus f of x upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 which can be written as f dash of x. Therefore we have dy by dx which is equal to d by dx of y that is f of x plus c is equal to f dash of x that can be written as d by dx of f of x. For example, we have d by dx of x raised to the power 9 plus 5 which is equal to d by dx of x raised to the power 9 and is equal to 9 into x raised to the power 8. Therefore, the value of d by dx of x raised to power 9 plus 5 is equal to 9 into x raised to power 8. The next theorem states that the differential coefficient of the product of a constant and a function is equal to the product of the constant and the differential coefficient of the function that is d by dx of c into f of x is equal to c into d by dx of f of x. Let y be equal to c into f of x be a function of x. And mark this equation as 1. Let delta x be a small increment in the value of x corresponding to this let delta y be a small increment in the value of y then y plus delta y is equal to c into f of x plus delta x mark this equation as 2 now subtract equation 1 from equation 2 we get delta y is equal to c into f of x plus delta x minus of f of x now dividing both the sides by delta x we get delta y by delta x is equal to c into f of x plus delta x minus of f of x whole upon delta x taking limits as delta x tends to 0 limit delta y by delta x as delta x tends to 0 is equal to limit c into 
एस ऑफ एक्स प्लस डेल्टा एक्स माइनस एस ऑफ एक्स होल अपॉन डेल्टा एक्स आर डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो एंड देर फोर लिमिट डेल्टा वाई बाय डेल्टा एक्स आर डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो कैन बी रिटर्न एस डी वाई बाय डी एक्स एंड इज इक्वल टू एज वी नो दैट लिमिट ऑफ सी इंटू एफ ऑफ एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस सी इंटू लिमिट ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स देर फोर लिमिट ऑफ सी इंटू एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस डेल्टा एक्स माइनस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन डेल्टा एक्स एज डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो कैन बी रिटर्न एस सी इंटू लिमिट एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस डेल्टा एक्स माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स होल अपॉन डेल्टा एक्स एज डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो देर वी हैव dy वाई बाय डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी इंटू लिमिट एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस डेल्टा एक्स माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स अपॉन डेल्टा एक्स एज डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू डी वाई डी एक्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स देर फोर डी वाई बाय डी एक्स दैट इज डी वाई डी एक्स ऑफ वाई विच इज इक्वल टू c इंटू एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी इंटू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर देन फाइन दी वैल्यू ऑफ डी वाई बाई डी एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ फोर एक्स स्क्वायर That is equal to four into d by dx of x square, and therefore we have four into. Now differentiating x square with respect to x, we get two into x, which is equal to four into two into x. That is eight into x. Therefore, the value of d y by dx is equal to. 8x. The next theorem states that the differential coefficient of the sum of two functions is equal to the sum of the differential coefficients of these functions. That is, d by dx of u plus v is equal to d by dx of u plus d by dx of v, where u and v are functions of x. Whose differential coefficients exist? Let y be equal to u plus v, and let u be equal to f of x, and v be equal to g of x. As u and v are functions. Whose differential coefficients exist? Therefore, f of x and g of x are differential functions. Therefore, d by dx of f of x is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus f of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to zero, and d by dx of g of x is equal to Limit g of x plus delta x minus of g of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to zero. Now 
d by dx of s of x plus g of x that is dy by dx is equal to limit f of x plus delta x plus g of x plus delta x minus of f of x plus g of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 or we can also write it as dy by dx is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus of f of x plus g of x plus delta x minus of g of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 that is we have dy by dx is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus of f of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 plus limit g of x plus delta x minus of g of x whole upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 therefore we have dy by dx is equal to limit f of x plus delta x minus f of x upon delta x as delta x tends to 0 can be written as d by dx of f of x plus limit g of x plus delta x minus g of x by delta x as delta x tends to 0 can be written as d by dx of g of x therefore dy by dx is equal to d by dx of u plus d by dx of v as u is equal to f of x and v is equal to g of x similarly d by dx of u minus v can be written as d by dx of u minus d by dx of v in general we can write d by dx of u plus v plus w plus and so on is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx plus dw by dx plus and so on for example if y is equal to x cube plus 2x square plus x minus 2 then find the value of dy by dx we have dy by dx which is equal to d by dx of y that is x cube plus 2x square plus x minus 2 which can be written as d by dx of x cube plus d by dx of 2x square plus d by dx of x minus d by dx of 2 and therefore we have on differentiating x cube with respect to x we get 3x square plus on differentiating 2x square with respect to x we get 2 into 2x plus on differentiating x with respect to x we get 1 minus on differentiating 2 that is the constant with respect to x we get 0 therefore we have 3x square plus 4x plus 1 therefore the value of dy by dx is equal to 3x square plus 4x plus 1 this completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.